When it comes to underwater travel, there are a variety of submersibles available. Though they aren't always available to the general public, it's nice to dream. Sleek, sporty, and sometimes a little strange, here are 10 bizarre underwater vehicles. Sea Breacher in his space productions, the creator of the Sea Breacher line was founded in 1997. This New Zealand company produces high-performance underwater crafts. Designed for speed, they can dive, roll, jump, and perform all kinds of aquabatic tricks. The personal submersibles keep the operator safe and dry inside the cockpit. The Sea Breachers come in several different designs. There are crafts designed to look like sharks, killer whales, and even dolphins. They also offer other customized paint jobs. Scuba Doo Exploring the underwater world isn't always easy. It often requires hours of training and certification. Not everyone has the time or the money to do this, but there are places where underwater exploration is a breeze. Using a scuba doo, even unexperienced divers can embark on an underwater journey. The aquatic scooter is equipped with an air tank and dome-like breathing helmet. It can travel up to 2.5 knots and reaches a max depth of 10 meters. These devices were first introduced in 2004 and were a huge hit. Now, many resorts offer hour-long scuba doo tours for an average of $50 a person. Thunderbird 4 In early 2015, the iconic Thunderbird 4 was seen floating down the River Thames in London. Fans of the classic Thunderbirds TV show were definitely surprised. Though it was only a replica, the 15-foot watercraft caused quite a stir, as it was a part of a publicity stunt to bring attention to the new Thunderbirds Argo show. The new show was to be based off of the 1960s original. The Thunderbird 4 may have been a fictional submarine, but the concept was not completely unbelievable. Rescue subs actually exist and are used for submarine retrieval and rescue. Bio Swimmer the Bioswimmer is an unmanned underwater vehicle designed for high maneuverability. It is used by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security's Science and Technology Division and was developed in Waltham, Massachusetts. The most unique thing about the Bioswimmer is that it looks like a tuna. The fish's frame inspired the design as it is ideal for hard to reach and harsh environments. The flexible aft section allows for better propulsion and handling underwater. The Bioswimmer is battery powered and designed to operate for long periods of time. Everything is controlled by an onboard computer, including navigation, communications, and sensors. Q Sub 2400. Designed by Hugh Fulton, the Q Sub 2400 is a two man submarine with large viewing windows. It was developed in New Zealand as a luxury personal submarine. It's capable of traveling at 20 knots on the surface, but can dive to a depth of 400 feet. The sub is powered by 14 lithium iron phosphate batteries. It is lightweight and the large portholes allow for easy viewing of sea life. It's ideal for underwater photography and leisurely exploration. Unlike some other underwater crafts, the Q Sub 2400 can be launched from a trailer at any boat ramp. Wet Nelly. The Wet Nelly was a custom-built submarine created for the spy who loved me in 1977. It was built by Perry Oceanographic Incorporated specifically for the James Bond film and used the body of a Lotus Esprit SI sports car. The Wet Nelly was a wet sub, meaning the two-man crew needed scuba gear to breathe once inside. It operated using four electric motors, which allowed it to move forward. Once filming for the movie was complete, the Wet Nelly was shipped to Long Island, New York, and was placed in storage for 10 years. But when the lease ended, the unit was auctioned off for only $100. The new owner restored the exterior and sold it for 550,000 pounds at auction in Battersea, Southwest London to Tesla founder Elon Musk in 2013. Huang Sa. In late 2015, Vietnamese businessman Nguyen Quoc Hoa began testing his homemade mini submarine. The Huang Sa is made of steel and can reach a top speed of 15 nautical miles per hour. It is also capable of diving to a depth of 50 meters. Hua created the mini sub to carry two people for three consecutive days and nights. The Huang Sa is actually the second underwater craft that Hua was built as he created the Turong Sa in 2014. Hua had previously run tests of the Huang Sa in shallow waters and lakes, but in the summers of 2016, the Ministry of National Defense allowed him to test it at sea. Necker Nymph When someone is as rich as Sir Richard Branson, the owner of Necker Island, they can buy just about anything. In early 2010, he purchased a submersible for his resort in the British Virgin Islands. He named it the Necker Nymph. The submersible seats three people, one pilot, and two passengers. Bucket seats are situated behind a pane of plexiglass. This acts as a windshield against the pressure from the slipstream. The Necker Nymph can travel up to six knots underwater. The cockpit is left open, so some diving experience is required. The maximum depth for advanced diver excursions is 30 meters. Beginners may only dive to 12 meters. Boeing Echo Ranger 
Though it may look like one of the Beatles' album covers, this yellow submarine is an unmanned underwater vehicle used by the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration. The Echo Ranger's hull is made of aluminum and it weighs over 5,000 kilograms. It's a research vessel with 3D sonar imaging, which can travel to depths of nearly 10,000 feet. It can operate for more than 24 hours while traveling at three to six knots. It was designed to gather data such as high-definition photos of deep-sea wrecks, taking water samples and mapping its surroundings. Its primary mission involves simple monitoring, but it can also be used in anti-submarine warfare. RIN Speed Scuba Inspired by James Bond's iconic car from The Spy Who Loved Me, the Scuba is quite unique. It is the world's first car capable of driving on land and underwater. It was developed by Rinspeed, a Swiss company. The Scuba is a zero-emission, all-electric vehicle with three motors, one motor for land travel and two for water. The amphibious convertible is not designed for speed but can submerge to a depth of 10 meters. The Scuba is also equipped with air tanks and breathing masks for the driver and one passenger. In the event of an emergency, the Scuba is designed to resurface automatically if the occupants flee the vehicle. Well, who's ready for a little bit of adventure? We know that we are. So come join us under the sea. But before we get started, how about you watch a couple more videos for you here at The Richest? And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks and bye bye